everyone welcome back to studio 33 art by k i'm doing this on an mdf place mat and it's 21 centimeters by 29 centimeters so 21 this way 29 that way um and i've just i had used it for another port that i did that i didn't particularly like so i've just painted over it with the Araldo Piolo White, which is mixed with Australian Flow Troll. And it had a few little uh, lumps in it, so I've just put a piece of stocking over the inside opening and put an elastic band around it and then screwed the top back on. And that's how you can keep lumps out of your paint. So that's a, a really easy way to do that. So I'm going to go for the blues today. Um, I've done some lately and I'm going to use some different one blues to what I had done and I'm going to do the leaves out of that beautiful um, green light. This will be the Araldo though so it's a bit different and I have mixed the Reeves Pearl Medium in with that just to give it a little bit of a sparkle um, and so without further ado I'll she'll go ahead. I'm going to be um, putting some green leaves just in the corners I'm going to put the bloom in the middle and then just blow it out so the green leaves may disappear altogether um, but if not they should look quite nice in there first of all i'm going to lay down the leaves so as i say this is the araldo green light and i'm just going to put some of that into the corners so i'm going to blow this all these blooms out all the way to the edge but i just want to make sure that there's something green in the corners in case the uh, blue doesn't get there and it's always nice to have that little bit of color in the corners there and I'm pretty sure it'll get everywhere else but I'll just put a little bit here as just in case it doesn't get all the way and I'm going to be using the Silvery, which is by um, Araldo as well. It's metallic silvery with a Y at the end of the silver. I'm just going to put a little blob on there. Another one on here. And now the cell activator I'm using today is not the Amsterdam oxide black i'm rather using the global black mixed with australian flow troll to the consistency where when i let it run off the stick it bounces back onto the stick after about three to four seconds and i find that that's the best way to know whether your cell activator is at the right consistency or not so i'm just putting the cell activator at the bottom of these leaves because I'm blowing them out towards the edge when I put the base down I also made sure that I covered my edges um, so that when the paints go over they've got something already there to attach to so I'm just going to use one of these jumbo paper straws which you just get by from the supermarket and all I do is squeeze the bottom end and make it flat so I'll just blow these out. Be back in a sec. So now I'm going to put down my first flower. So I'm going to put the Araldo Cool Blue first. So the first bloom has to be quite big because I want it to virtually cover the whole canvas. So I'm going to put that in the middle and I'm going to follow up with the Araldo Metallic Waves. Which is a beautiful colour that just dries so nicely 
and then the Araldo Tranquility. And I won't put too much of this on because it is a um, an opaque, and so it could try and take over the top of the others, which are um, semi-transparent and transparent. So I might just put a little bit of that around the edge. So that can push out without burying the other colours. Now I'm going to put on a little bit of the Araldo Diamond, which is just a white, sparkly white. And then I'm going to put the Deco Art 24 karat gold. So I'm not using my Montmartre pouring paint gold today. followed by the cell activator. Now, this may not get all the way. I'll just see how I go. And with the cell activator, I'm just going to drizzle it so it's not a big black hole in the middle. Don't want too much on there. I could be getting carried away here. Right, so now I'm going to blow that out. Um, so I'm going to actually use my little Mr. Puffy, my Puffy 2000, which I bought from poorscraperepeat.com online. So it's basically a piece of hose that has a uh, flat piece at the end. I've taken the other end off. I did have one on the other end and I'm just going to blow straight through the hose there. So here we go. I find I can really control um, how I blow these out with Mr. Puffy. I call it Mr. Puffy, but it's Puffy 2000. And look at these cells here. Gorgeous. Try to get it to the edges. Need to give it a bit more of a puff. It's a shame to disturb this one here. It's really lovely. But over it goes. With this little puffy, as you can see, I, I could just turn that and blow it that way. It's very manoeuvrable, um, which is really great. Okay, so now I'm just going to spin that out. And then I'll come back and put the next one in the middle of that. Kind of wishing I wasn't doing a bloom on a bloom now. <laughs> I like how the green is coming through, the green leaves is actually coming through here. I quite like that. But this here, that's beautiful. It's going to be a shame to do anything over it, but anyway. Alrighty. Loving all this really pretty so now I'm going to put another bloom in the center of that a smaller one I'm just loving these colors so this cool blue which is a transparent by the way um, and then the metallic waves is a semi-transparent and then I put the um, tranquility which is an opaque over the top but it's just gorgeous I'm loving the cool blue so nice really liking these colors so i will use them again okay so now i go back in and i'll put um the tranquility well, i'll do the same um so start with the cool blue on the bottom 
And this one I want to be smaller. Then the waves with a little bit of tranquility. And I put a bit around the edge. Some of the white, which is diamond, followed by the Deco Art 24 karat. And now my Selectivator. Look at this. Just the day I decided to do a bloom over a bloom over a bloom, and the first one was so nice. Anyway, move on. Sometimes you just have to have something in mind and um, keep on going. So I'm going to try and blow this one out in between the other petals. So I'll use Mr. Puffy again. Hopefully I won't wreck this up too much here. So when you're using this, sort of start in the middle and then push out. You can see with um, this Mr. Mr. Puffy, you can like this piece here, for instance, I'm just going to blow that out. You can be very exact with what you're doing. It's just brilliant. And because it's your own air, you can blow as hard or as soft as, as you need to to get the effect that you're after. Right, so now that is beautiful too. Look at these cells. Oh, I'm loving this, loving it. So now I'm going to go into the middle of that again. I'm not loving this here now, so I might have to put something there in a minute. Um, I've blown that out too much. So now we go in with our smaller bloom. And I don't want to get rid of all these beautiful cells that have been created here with the 24 karat gold and the um, diamond. So. Just got to be careful not to put too much on for this last bloom. And thank you so much to all of the people who do make comments on both the Facebook um, posts that I put up and also on Instagram and who take the time to comment on my videos. I really appreciate it. And now the gold. And my little bit of black. Not too much cell activator this time. Just a little bit because it's only a small bit that I'm going to blow out. So again, I'll sort of try and go in between as much as I can. Alrighty, so that's a bloom on top of a bloom on top of a bloom. So it kind of gives you a 3D effect. Um, I want to get rid of this here. I want to blow that out again. So I, I'm just going to try putting a little bit um, sort of in here like that. And try and blow that out again. Hopefully that will work. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. All right, so there's my bloom on top of a bloom on top of a bloom. And now I'll just um, draw some shape into there. I'm just going to use one of these bamboo skewers and I'm not going to fuss about it too much. Just a little bit of shape into the petals here. So this is very abstract, as you can see. It's got lots of beautiful cells. Um, I'm just going to now hit it with the heat tool just to burst any bubbles. And that also helps to bring up any cells, which I don't really need help with. Um, as you can see, there's lots of crazy cells. So it doesn't really look like a bloom. Um, the other one I did did look like a bloom. It looked like a bloom on top of a bloom on top of a bloom. This one doesn't so much, but I still love the effect. It's very, um, as I say, 3D. Um, so I'm just going to spin that out a little bit, but not too much. And the other way. So there's that one for today, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching that. Um, it's very different. It's uh, got lots of lots of activity here and I'll bring you down for a close up. We'll just get rid of that little white dot. If you get any little white dots that you don't like on, on your piece, just get your skewer and just gently press it in and then the white dot's gone. So very easy to do. Okay, so I shall now bring you down for a close-up. So here we come down for a close-up of this bloom on the bloom on the bloom. And oh, wow, there's certainly some activity going on here. In the middle here, there's just so many interesting spots. You don't know where to look. Probably a bit busy really, but I still really like it. And here where I've gone over those leaves, it's just lets that little bit of green through, which I really quite like. And some lovely lacing just here. More in there. So all in all, what I would call an interesting piece. Lots of cells in here. And it is quite shimmery. Um, you can't quite see that. Oh, you can probably see a little bit of it, yeah. Um, there, and that's the 24 karat gold that's doing that. So it is quite, um, quite shimmery. Very, very pretty. So it's got lots of pretty aspects to it, this one. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed that today. So that was my bloom on bloom on bloom. Um, and I really quite like the effect of that. Each time you do it, of course, it looks a bit different to the time before. Um, but I will be doing a few more of these. So um, look out for those. And as I say, they'll all be a bit different. So until I see you again, take care. And we'll be back here very soon. See you later. Bye bye.